Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. This is Self-Managed Batch Workloads with Amazon EC2 Spot Instances. My name is Chad Schmutzer. I'm a Principal Developer Advocate for the Amazon EC2 Spot team. All right, let's get started. Uh, what we're going to think about doing today is building a, a cost-effective batch processing workload by utilizing Amazon EC2 Spot Instances. Spot Instances are spare EC2 capacity that come with six, um, six significant features. Uh, the first being low predictable prices, uh, spot instances can be up to 90% off of the on-demand price. The second is faster results. Spot instances help you scale uh, without breaking your bank. Um, the third is that spot instances are very easy to use. They've been tightly integrated with many AWS services as, as well as third-party services as well. So what I'm going to walk through today is how to build out an example bat batch processing workload using various AWS services to tie the whole workload together. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll take a, a CloudFormation template and that CloudFormation template is going to deploy an environment for us that will be set up and ready to go for batch processing. Um, so what we'll do here is this CloudFormation template will spin up a couple of things. The first is an EC2 autoscaling group. This autoscaling group consists of spot instances that will automatically scale up and scale down based on how much work is in the job queue itself. Um, so let's walk through this. So if we have a user who needs to uh, get some batch processing done, which in this case, uh, we will say this user needs to convert images into PDFs. So in this, in this example, users will upload their images to an S3 bucket. As those images land in the S3 bucket, this will generate a message in an SQS queue. Uh, as those messages build up, we have workers running on our spot instances that are checking jobs out of the SQS queue. Uh, as those jobs are, are landing on spot instances, the spot instances tell the autoscaling group to protect themselves from being removed in case of a scaling event. As after that work is processed, the images are converted from images to PDFs. They're uploaded back to the S3 bucket. And then we also have some metrics around the scaling, uh, the scaling environment, which are being monitored with CloudWatch. And this CloudWatch uh, metric will automatically scale up and scale down the number of spot instances in our environment based on how much work there is to do in the job queue. So let's take a look at this in the AWS console. So as I mentioned, I've deployed a CloudFormation template um, that has deployed all of the various resources that we've just talked about. This CloudFormation template is available for you to check out on GitHub, um, and you can deploy it in your own environment. We can see that it's, that it's deployed uh, uh, some resources for us that we just talked about, including an, an EC2 auto-scaling group, a scaling policy, the associated roles and permissions, uh, as well as an S3 bucket for us to use, and an SQS queue. So let's take a look at the, at the various uh, components here. So the first is this S3 bucket that we talked about. So we have this S3 bucket, uh, the spot batch demo bucket, and this bucket has been configured such that every time a new image is uploaded, it it's, uh, puts a new message into our SQS queue. And here's our SQS queue. We can see that it's been, um, it's been configured um, to accept messages uh, with, with default permissions and settings like this. Um, and it's ready to go um, from a consumption perspective. In the EC2 console, we can see that we have our EC2 autoscaling group that has been deployed. Um, it consists of, uh, of a couple of instances that are up, up and healthy and they've been um, diversified across our availability zones. And these instances having agents have uh, agents running on them. Um, and these instances are looking for work in our SQS queue. We can also see that we have a scaling policy associated with our EC2 autoscaling group, which is a target tracking uh, scaling policy. And this target tracking scaling policy is taking all the heavy lifting, uh, heavy lifting for us and, and basically scaling up and scaling down the autoscaling group based on the job queue depth or approximate number of messages visible in the job queue in the, in the SQS queue. Um, and that's really all there is to it. So let's take a look at this, um, how this works. So if we open up our S3 bucket and we actually upload some images into it, I'll just grab some images off of my desktop. I've got five images here. I'll open these. I'll simply say upload. And we can see that um, these images are JPEGs. Um, so they've all been uploaded into our S3 bucket. So as I mentioned earlier, that will, that will create messages in our SQS queue. And the instances themselves, the, and these are spot instances, we'll look to see um, is there any work to do in our, in our uh, SQS queue. After they've checked out the work and converted the images from JPEGs to PDFs, 
they will automatically re-upload them back to the S3 bucket. So we can see here, uh, as I refresh, we can see that we have uh, PDFs being created, um, which are essentially the result of converting the JPEGs into PDFs, um, and then this work is being uploaded back into the S3 bucket. Um, and this is really all there is to it. Everything else will, will happen automatically, and the entire uh, batch processing system has been configured end-to-end -end and will automatically be deployed in the most cost-effective way for us because it's using spot instances as the compute environment. Okay, that's it for the demo. Thank you for watching. Hopefully now you're ready to start saving on batch workloads on spot instances.